Hi, boys and girls. Well, today's story is Love is a Family, and it is written by Roma Downey. And then it is illustrated by Justin Gasquet. So, Love is a Family. Is and A, they're both sight words. We have a front cover where I can see two happy people. And then we have a back cover. It has a house with the lights on. Hmm. I wonder if they're on the same street. What do you guys think? Do you think they're on the same street? Kind of looks like it, doesn't it? I think they might be in a neighborhood. Huh? Let's find out what our story is about. We have our title page. And then, whoa, we have all kinds of portraits. A portrait is a picture of people in a certain pose. And I see these ones have families. Some of the families look the same. Some of the families look different. I want a real family, said Lily, slamming the screen door shut behind her. Wait a second. This child does not look very happy. Hmm, I wonder what has Lily upset. And what would that be, her mother said. More than just you and me. Tonight is family fun night, and I'll be, I'll be the only kid in the whole class bringing just one person. What kind of family is that? Hmm, a small kind, teased Mama, but it's still... A real family. Lily didn't want to have a snack with Mama like she always did most days after school. The house was too quiet and too neat. I'm going next door, she said. Oh, it looks like they were having donuts for snack. I would like donuts for snack. Mrs. Clapp likes donuts. Melissa's house was never quiet and never ever neat. Melissa had four brothers and two sisters. She shared a room with her sisters and every night they had a pillow fight before they went to sleep. When I go to sleep, thought Lily, all I get is the next chapter in the book Mama and I are reading together. Lily played with Melissa in her noisy, messy house until Mama called her home to get ready for family fun night. So Lily has lots of friends that live next door, um, but at Lily's actual house, it's just her and her mom. But her friend Melissa, whoa, they have a lot of siblings. I bet you it's probably hard to find a quiet place in that house. Mama asked, do you want to call Uncle Mike and Auntie Lizzie to see if they would like to meet us there? Uncles and aunts don't count, Lily told her. Sometimes I wish I had sisters or a dad who lived with me, or at least a brother or something. I know, said Mama. Sometimes I wish I had that too. But most of the time, our little family feels just right to me. Love is what makes a family. And we've got plenty of that. Looks like she was getting ready to call, but then Lily said, mm -mm, Nope, don't need to call. I'm good. Yeah, this must be in Lily's imagination that they have other members in their family. Lily knew it was true. Even so, her lonely feeling wouldn't go away. She kept worrying about how they would be the weirdest family at family fun night. But as it turned out, she's thinking that everybody else is going to have a regular family, whatever a regular family might be. They weren't. When they got there, they saw plenty of families that didn't look like Melissa's. Wow, all kinds of people are there. 
family fun night. We have family fun nights here at the school too. Hopefully we'll get to do one of those again. Lily talked to a girl who was there with just her dad. She came back and whispered to Mama, Romy's mom died and she has no brothers and no sisters. So it's just the two of them like us. Oh, that's how I grew up too, said Mama. Lily had forgotten about that. It felt weird to think about her mom as a little girl. But, wait a minute, how could your dad brush your hair and make it pretty, she asked. Did he even know how to braid or get the barrettes on both sides? Dads can be pretty smart about here. Grandpa learned to do these things because he was my daddy and he loved me, Mama said. He also baked peanut butter cookies and planned fantastic birthday parties. He sang songs and told awful jokes uh, when I needed cheering up. And there were many ways for families to show love, just as there are different kinds of families. Oh. Lily pointed to a girl in her class, like Tamika. Her mom and dad showed love by adopting her and getting her a puppy and freezing that big wad of gum out of her hair with ice cubes instead of just cutting her hair. Mama laughed. And how about Josh and Tony that live across the street? They don't have parents now, but they have grandparents who pop popcorn for scary movies, rescue balls off the roof, pull splinters out of dirty fingers, and catch lightning bugs. Yep, I call that a family. At family fun night, they saw families with stepdads and stepmoms and half-sisters and half-brothers. There were single moms and single dads and families made up of different colors of skin. Everyone was laughing and showing their love by just being together. But later, Walking home in the cool of the night air, it was just Lily and Mama again, alone, under a million sparkling stars. Lily pointed. Mom, see that big bunch of stars over there? That's how big Melissa's family is. Mm, that's a nice bunch of stars, said Mama. Yeah, but mom, look at those two pretty stars twinkling together over there, Lily said, smiling. They're like us. They are shining just as brightly. Mama, someday you'll be old and I'll be grown up, said Lily. And do you know who will brush your hair then? It will be me. And I'll braid your hair for you and I'll make sure the barrettes are even on both sides because you and I will always be a family and we will always have the love. Oh, what has she got in the background here? She's got like some kind of special robot to help her. She's imagining that in the future, she'll end up with a robot that will help her. That's pretty neat. I wonder if I'll have a robot helper later. Mama squeezed Lily's hand. And those two stars shined like the brightest diamonds. One and two. Lily and her mom. Pretty cool. So there are many different kinds of families. And if you scroll down, you see a movie about a fun family day. This one was a fun family night. 
but there was a fun family day and you'll see all kinds of different families in there and the kids will tell you what they think it means to be a family which would help give you an idea of what you think a family is and what your family is like.